Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to install Arch Linux, one of the most powerful and customizable Linux distributions on any computer. I'll walk you step by step from downloading the ISO, creating a bootable USB, booting your PC, ha, connecting to Wi Fi, and finally running the Arch install script to set everything up the easy way. Head over to the official Arch Linux website at archlinux.org and download the ISO. I like using a torrent client myself. If you want, scroll down, you'll find a list of mirrors. Choose one close to your location and download using a mirror. Just open that file in a torrent client like BitTorrent and the download will begin. Next, if you're on Windows, we need a tool to burn the ISO image to the USB drive and make it bootable. I recommend Rufus. Go to rufus.ie and download the latest portable version. It doesn't require installation, just double click to run it. Now plug in your USB drive and open Rufus. Under device, select your USB drive. Under boot selection, click select and choose the Arch Linux ISO you just downloaded. Keep everything else as default, GPT, partition scheme and UEFI, target system if your PC supports UEFI. That is if you have a modern PC. Click start and wait for Rufus to finish writing the image. When it's done, eject the USB safely, plug the USB drive into the computer where you want to install Arch Linux. Reboot the computer and enter your system's BIOS boot menu. This usually involves pressing a key like F2, F12, delete, or escape during startup, depending on your motherboard manufacturer. In the boot menu, select your USB drive. It might be listed under UEFI boot options and press enter you'll see the Arch Linux bootloader menu. The default option, Arch Linux install medium, x86 underscore 64, is what we want. Press enter to boot into the live environment. If you're connected via ethernet, you're already online, but if you're on Wi-Fi, here's how to connect manually. Type. IWCTL and press enter to enter the interactive network shell. First, list your Wi Fi. It will not show here because I'm connected using cable. Just want to show you commands to run if you want to connect to Wi Fi. You should see something like WLAN 0. Note the name. Now, scan for networks. Now, Scan for networks, replace WLAN 0 with your actual device name. This will list the available networks. Uh, like I said, I'm using cable just showing you commands to run to connect to Wi-Fi. Finally, connect to your network. Replace network name, Zach, with your actual Wi-Fi's SSID. It will prompt you for the password. Enter it carefully. To verify your connection, type exit to leave the IWCTL shell and then try pinging Yahoo or Google. Press Control c to exit.
Before we run the Arch install command, let's quickly update our package database so we don't run into any missing package errors. Uh, this tells Arch to refresh its list of available packages from the internet, kind of like updating the App Store before installing something. It doesn't upgrade anything, it just makes sure Arch install uses the latest files. Once that's done, you're good to run the script. This command will initialize the package signing keys that Arch Linux uses to verify every package you install. Think of it like setting up your system's signature checker. It makes sure every package you download is authentic and hasn't been tampered with. Run the lsblk command, we need to prepare the hard drive. This command lists all the block devices, basically all your hard drives, SSD and USB, along with their partition sizes and mount points. It's super useful for identifying which drive is your USB and which one is your actual hard drive so you don't accidentally wipe the wrong one during installation. Mine is the 100 gigabyte drive and starts with NVEM. That is the name appearing on my 100 gigabyte disk. Type X and then Z to wipe the hard drive. Let me check if I'm still connected to the internet. Now comes the fun part, installing Arch Linux using the Arch install script. This will open the guided installation interface you can now select your language keyboard layout. English is the default, I will go with that. The defaults are okay with me. This is basically where you choose where your system will download packages from during installation and later updates. Arch Linux has servers or mirrors all around the world and the closer the mirror is to you, the faster your downloads will be. So when you see the mirror list, it's best to pick a mirror that's in your country or region. For example, if you're in Europe, Pick one from Germany or, or the Netherlands. If you're in Africa, pick something nearby like South Africa or Kenya. That way, your installation and future updates will run much faster and smoother. But when installation fails, come back here and select a different one. select the default one. Then here, make sure to select your hard drive where you installing the OS. The default is okay. For the bootloader, I will go with system D. 
Arch Linux is fine as the host name for me. Create a root password for your root account and also create a user account. Go with desktop here. Now you can select your desktop environment. I will go for the KDE desktop environment. Just go for all open source drivers. Now you can start the installation. The installer will automatically download and set up everything for you. Depending on your internet speed, it can take around 10 to 20 minutes. Choose the last option and then exit and reboot the machine. Congratulations, you've successfully installed Arch Linux on your computer. Enjoy your clean, fast, and fully customizable Linux system. You can install Flatpak and start installing apps. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more Linux tutorials and tech guides. Thanks for watching.